Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. It's Poet WP, Gabriel Samadhi here. I'm here to share with you a poem that I wrote, oh, back in the day when I lived in New York City. I was hanging out in a little hole in the little sleepy hole in the wall in the Bowery area of uh, Manhattan, lower Manhattan, and uh, drinking absinthe, which I'm like to do from time to time. Uh, only tonight I was, or not tonight, but that night, I uh, was the first time I ever tried it. And um, I had five glasses, <laughs> which I do not recommend doing. Two's plenty. I had five. Uh, and then I wrote this poem. So, I'm going to share it with you. It's called The Green Fairy, of course. <laughs> Where will the moment that delivers the onslaught of crowning virtue begin its unlimitable course? For virtue, when truly present in the heart, becomes the most monumental cause in one's scope of understanding. It will be the moment when you feel the most securely, openly revealed without cause or expectation. The revelations of heaven present themselves among your own thoughtless action. Established in, in, in infinity, but disacknowledged in the infamy of the ego. Where must each of us exit in the presence of everything we affect with our states of doubt or consequence? Without states of doubt or consequence. Let me reread that. I made a mistake. Where must each of us exit in the presence of everything we affect without states of doubt or consequence? When will each of us account of the degradation of selfhood? When you perceive your reality beyond your own individual internal awareness, all the external energies become a part of how you conduct your person, transcending in inherent karma into the states of blessings. Revealing the presence of forever within but a moment. Time has no basis in death. Be true to all who encounter your better nature until the only thing that exists within you is your inherent nature, the sweet breath of samadhi. Then you will see the presence of God and the totality of now. <laughs> yeah. That was a really fun night. But like I said, I don't encourage excessive drinking. But when I was a young man, I was a real party animal. You know? It is what it is. Now I'm a not so young man, and uh, yeah, not not really a party animal anymore. <laughs> but shit, it was fun. To everything there is a season, turn, turn, turn. I suppose. Uh, yeah. Hope you can dig the poem. And um, you know, absinthe is legal in America now. You can go to the liquor store and buy it, wormwood and all. Has uh, wormwood is a psychotropic effect, uh, effects on the mind. It's much better than normal liquor. If, if you, it tastes like a licorice smoothie almost kind of. If you like Jaeger, you'll like absinthe, but absinthe is much tastier than Jaeger, Jaegermeister, in my opinion. Uh, it's a very, it's a very interesting drunk. Very, very heartwarming. Very. You just have, there's no way to adequately describe it. You just have to get drunk on absinthe to find out, really. But, you know, within reason, if that's your kind of thing. I found it to, uh, to be good for a little inspiration or a little unwinding from time to time, you know. Once in a while, I'll have a glass. I don't like the old days, though.
Anyway, I'll shut up about absinthe now. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I'll uh, catch you next time.